Hi, this is Matt in Gadget. We're going to take a few minutes to take a look at uh, the software behind uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3's uh, beautiful new hardware. Now, this is uh, Android 4.0, so uh, there actually isn't a multitask button like the Galaxy S2. There, it has a very uh, 2011 looking button arrangement. You'll get to the multitasker by holding onto the home button there, and boom, there we have it. You can scroll up and down, uh, kill left and right. And there you have it. Although there are some minor differences that kind of brings the Galaxy S2 closer to its uh, Galaxy Nexus cousin. Uh, for example, if we take the drop-down menu, um, you'll now find a more capacious um, quick shortcut uh, bar at the top there. And if you t tap on the setup, uh, you can see this is already available straight from the drop-down. Uh, now, these buttons and switches are looking a little bit more modern as well, although they have the same size as the Galaxy S2. Uh, as you can tell, from uh, all these different uh, icons here. There's a whole new lo load of uh, unlock options and gesturing. If we take a quick look at them here, uh, they're often a bit tricky to perform in real life, but we're going to give a go with the camera unlock now. So this kind of uses the accelerometer to kind of launch you immediately into the camera, hopefully speeding up when you really want to take that photo. So we'll lock the phone. Now we'll turn it back on again. Hold the screen. Rotate. Boom, we have camera. There you go, there's a hand. So yeah, there's a lot of these gesture functions that we've kind of gone to in a bit more depth in our preview, um, but there's plenty to play around with. You'll be wanting to at least give it a try when this hits stores. Uh, another one of the main features that Samsung's looking to push on this new phone is uh, S-Voice. So if we tap open here, this is another voice navi for your phone. So hopefully if we press this microphone and ask you for it to do something, we should get what we need. Open camera. There we go. And this is a, a superb introduction to the new uh, camera uh, layout, which is actually quite similar to the Galaxy S2. Oh, there we go. Look, isn't that beautiful? Marble white. Uh, on the left here, you'll actually get more options. And um, uh, Samsung's really taken to going for uh, social uh, features here. There's a face detection. Mr. Arlai is going to show it. Look, look, could you move around a bit so I could trace you? Look at that. It, it can't not focus on him. There's a lot of features like this. Now, if you take a photo of him and tag it and assign it to a contact, you, the, oh, let's take a photo. Cheese. Beautiful. If you assign that photo to a contact, you'll then be able to um, auto-tag people in the future and to connect it to your social networks, share, all those kind of different features. Uh, other features on the camera include uh, HDR mode, uh, burst mode, and we go to this in a lot more depth again in our camera feature, so check that out on the main website. There's also a best shot, which uh, Zach has lovingly written up, I think, so I'm looking forward to reading that myself. What we're going to do now is show you guys S Beam, which is kind of like an enhanced version of Google Android Beam. Uh, so we're going to tap each other's phones to get NFC to start the Wi-Fi direct connection. So let's do this. Matt's going to tap on the, the video. And then, ah, looks like we've got this. So in a moment, we should see the trans transfer happening. Aha, there we go. Receiving. Yes. Good job. Indeed, a good job. Uh, so yeah, this has only been a quick, very quick, brief overview of the software and the TouchWiz interface. Hopefully, it gives you a better idea of what uh, Samsung are going with their software in the future. This has been Matt at Engadget.